Have you ever craved pasta but didn't want to splurge on the calories? Well, I have a trick for you. It's called spaghetti squash. And I'm first going to show you how to prepare it for the oven, and then I'll tell you why it's spaghetti-like. So first, uh, it's basically just like a pumpkin, what you're used to, a round, big round squash thing. And when you cut it in half, you're going to see the center. And all you want to do first is scoop out the insides. So if you've had practice carving pumpkins, you'll definitely be good at this. out all the insides all you're gonna do is lightly spread some oil on it canola or EVOO just a nice little drizzle you can use your fingers if you wash your hands and uh, just put it all over and then some salt and pepper now the only long thing about this uh, is the oven timing. The rest of it's really simple, but you're gonna have to roast this uh, in the oven at 450 degrees for 50 minutes. So that's the only like time-wise thing that you have to worry about. Other than that, it's smooth sailing after. So all you do is you pop this in the oven. But for the sake of the show, I have a prepared one that just came out of the oven, and it's gonna look like this when it comes out. Now the magic here is how it turns spaghetti-like. All you do is you scrape it out and it becomes strings. I'm going to first scrape it out on the plate just so you can see. And we had already pre seasoned it with that olive oil, salt, and pepper. And generally, you would want to do both halves um, so you have a lot of spaghetti squash. scooping out all of the squash. Just set that down. We're just going to pour it into a little loaf pan here. Use any uh, oven safe dish. We're going to just pour it on in. Now you can do a bunch of different things with spaghetti squash. You can just season it with salt and pepper and it tastes great. Or you can make it uh, sweet and put some sugar and cinnamon. Or you can do what I love, which is some marinara sauce and cheese. So you're just going to put however much marinara sauce you really want, depending on your taste buds. I like mine a little saucier. All right. And then I, of course, have the low-fat mozzarella cheese to make this as guilt-free as possible. I'm going to sprinkle it on in. And now the best part is that it does go back in the oven. I know you waited for so long to, for it to come out, but it does go back in just until uh, you see the cheese melt and bubbling. So it might be about five, 10 minutes and then it's ready to eat. So we're gonna pop this in. Okay. After five or 10 minutes are up, you get to take it out of the oven right here. I'm just going to scoop out a bit so you guys can see. That. Oh, look at that. Love it. So now, the best part, I get to take a bite. You can really put on any cheese. I had mozzarella. Um, just play around with this recipe. It's pretty fun. Mm. That's a winner.